Hi, my name is Joel Young. I'm the CTO at Digi International. A lot of our customers have been asking about Thread. What is it? We thought maybe you might wonder too. So I'm going to take a few minutes and tell you about what is this Thread protocol and what are some of the benefits. First, Thread is a protocol just like a lot of other mesh networking protocols used in that Internet of Things. So it can be used to connect sensors or other actu actuator devices, whatever you need it to use, use it for. But Thread has some key differences and key benefits that differentiate it from other 802.15.4 based protocols. First is commissioning. Now, what is commissioning? I'll tell you, commissioning is how you join a network. How do you become a good member of that network that's able to actually use and talk to all other members with all those rights and privileges? The Thread is great at commissioning because it uses that one tool that we all know, a smartphone. Rather than press a lot of different buttons or a lot of blinky lights, all you have to do with Thread is have a smartphone and have your Thread network. A node wants to join the Thread network, what does it do? First thing it does, it says, I want to join. Your smartphone app actually receives that. You enter in that passphrase, and voila, you're allowed to actually join the network. Then, after a whole lot of fancy math and some elliptical curve diffie hellman based negotiations, voila, that node is part of the Thread network with all the rights and privileges that are due that node. Second key benefit is security. Now, we're all really concerned about security today. Security is a key part of everything we do and we worry about, right? And the worst thing we can have are rogue devices going unsecure and causing damage to our Internet of Things based networks. All right, so how does Thread do with security? Well, uh, there's a couple key points with Thread. First of all, it has the same 802.15.4 base security that all other 802.15.4 radios have. But it adds a couple other key benefits. First off, it can't just join the network and have all proper uh, rights and privileges without first being authenticated in a nice easy way and being validated as good for the network. Second, in addition to 802.15 based security, because it's an IPv6 based protocol, all the communications can use those other security like TLS, DTLS, SSL, all those other IP based protocols that go end to end. So you get end to end security as well as secure joining and authentication. The last key point is there is no single point of failure with a thread network. Now, some other mesh networks that you may have heard of, say like Zigbee, require you to have a coordinator, one omniscient node that gets to decide who gets to join and who doesn't, and are really responsible for the well-being of the network. Well, thread doesn't work that way. Thread nominates a leader. Think of it this way. All the routers on a thread network get together and nominate a leader. I want to be the leader of this thread network. And when you're the leader, you get to decide. You get to grant privileges on who joins and who doesn't. Say that leader goes away, gets unplugged. Well, the routers get together again and nominate a new leader. And they do that really fast. So there's no single point of failure. Now, the other key point about failures is how do you leave the network? How do you get in and out? Well, with typical mesh networks, a lot of times there's only one way in or one out. Think of it as like one door. Well, with Thread, you have the notion of a border router. And you can have as many border routers as you want. Typically, there's two, but you can have more. The nice thing about a border router is, just like a house that has got multiple doors, you've got multiple ways in and out of that network, so you never have to be worried about being cut off if someone takes away or boards up one of your doors. So that's it. Thread, great new protocol out there. Easy commissioning, great security, and no single points of failure.